Yo, Elliot, quick backstory. Germany has now disallowed unvaccinated folks to go anywhere except grocery stores or the pharmacy. Germany will decide on vaccination mandate at the start of next year. Things aren't looking good for unvaccinated people. I'm ready to go to jail since I won't be paying bills or fines for this or leave the country if necessary. I'm pretty set in stone on this. What is your take on this? You know, I have a book recommendation. I've recommended it before, but I think it's more, I think it's more poignant and important for us to read as men today than ever before. I've, I've, you know, this book really opened my mind to a lot of things. It really revolutionized my, my perspective, particularly as it relates to what's going on. I read this book prior to 2020, and then 2020 happened. I read it maybe like a month or two before. 2020, and 22, 22, 20 hap, 2020 happened, and I was like, that book predicted it all and tells us how to live. This is a book about living through persecution. He recommends, uh, he recommends or speaks a lot about uh, Alexander Solzhenitsky and uh, the, the Gulag Archipelago and the people that lived through the Bolshevik Revolution and the Marxist takeover of the West. And these people had to be, they were highly persecuted. I mean, when you read the stories about the torture that these people went through. But what allowed them to allowed them to survive through it all was this was this sense of faith in God and unity with one another. And both of those things have been stripped from us essentially in our culture over the past 100 years. There's no and, and, and I think it's deliberate because we're much more vulnerable when we don't have faith and we don't have community. And so right now. You could, and a lot of people do, feel alone. They feel alone and they feel uh, abandoned. And it doesn't have to be that way. God will never abandon you. In fact, there's graces in suffering. The last chapter in this book is all about how to suffer. <laughs> suffering through this. Let me see what the name of it is. The Gift of Suffering. The Gift of Suffering is the last chapter in this book. But I would invite you to read all of it. Suffer Without Bitterness. And what else? But anyway, suffering is a testimony to the truth. So, but it's not just about suffering. It's about how we got to this place and what we can do when facing it and how to, how to offer up our suffering as a grace rather than a bitterness. And so it's, I, I love the name of it. It's called Live Not By Lies, right? We, we're, we're, we're totally living under a, uh, a, a, an empire of lies, right? We're living under an empire of lies. So Rod Dreher, Live Not By Lies. I think for all of you, any of you, anybody listening to this and you feel like you're alone and you, 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 the persecution is coming down on you, Number one, I would say that this is the this is what you're this is probably the pinnacle of your life. And I don't say that lightly, right? Because I, again, I am very fortunate not to have to face the challenges that you are. But at the same time, when I read the stories in this book, these people recognize how fortunate they were to suffer the way they were, because through suffering comes sanctification, right? You gotta you, you, you gotta you gotta beat up that that iron to turn it into a sword, a sharp, shiny sword. It's got to get beat up to become purified. And you're getting a chance to get beat up. You're getting a chance to get beat up to be purified for the Lord. But the only way that works is if you have faith in community, faith in God and other people by your side. And so this, that's, this is probably the most important concept, the most important book for anybody who's facing persecution as a result of the CV lockdowns and uh, forced inoculation mandates. If you're going to be a dissident, and that's what he used, he calls the book a manual for Christian dissidents. And look, I understand that all you guys are Christian, and I'm not trying to make you a Christian, but if you are a dissident, if you are somebody who is resisting, you need to read this book. It might, even, it might, it might open you up to faith. It might not, but it will show you the benefit thereof, especially during a time like this, bro.
it's like you need it. So this may be this may be God's way of calling his flock back home is through these persecutions and to see, you know, who's who's a child of Satan and who's a child of God. And there are going to be a lot of child, children of God that didn't know they were children of God. I, I, I think more and more people are becoming Christian or religious right now because of the persecution, because of the craziness of the world. And they're like, you know, I've always been atheist or I've always been kind of like neutral about God. But as I look around and I experience what's happening, there's people are starting to say, wow, this is like sh straight out of the Bible, right? Like it's like Sodom and Gomorrah. It's just like the flood. It's like, uh, it, it, it's like the, 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 what is it? The um, Tower of Babel, right? Like world building. That's what the globalists are creating, a new Tower of Babel, except it's not just in that one little locale. It's all over the world. And they're, and they're forcing your allegiance to it. And some people are going to say no. And those are people that are going to be persecuted. And so you got to be prepared for it. This book will prepare you to be prepared for it. It, will, it won't prepare you, but it will prepare you to be prepared. And I think you really got to... I should do some of the things he's saying in here, which is like I, one of the things he suggests is to start study groups, um, not necessarily for any goal in particular, but so that you know you have community. He says, invite your neighbors over to like a movie night or something like do something with your with your neighbors or your church or the people in your community so that when the shit does hit the fan and the persecution comes down real hard, at least, you know, you're not alone. Right. Like minded people, people who have the same values as you. So that would be that's my suggestion on that. Seems like you're a dissident. Sounds like you're resisting, but. It's going to be tough. You're going to need some help. Leaving the country is one thing, but this is a global takeover. Unless you're coming to Florida or Texas, which a lot of people are, <laughs> it's no better in, in uh, California or New York or Chicago or anything like that. Maybe it's a little bit better, but not much. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students where among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you and you wanna join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word king, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting, done.